Hi guys, how are you doing? Um, today I'm gonna tell you guys uh, the differences in first C, second C, and third C. Like a lot of differences in first C, second C, third C. Uh, firstly, um, the amount of people that has the, I mean, the amount of bounty people has, of course, it'll change as you go along more and more. The bosses gives you bounties or owners. The players gives you bounties or owners. You're gonna fight a lot of them after you level up. And yeah, that's it with the bounty and the owner one. I mean, it's it doesn't matter that much if you want to get a summon CVs or not. I mean, if you don't want to get a summon CVs, but and. Uh, second one. I mean, bounty and owner thing didn't even, you know, you don't even need to think about it. Unless you're in third C, you would need to think about it. Of course, I have 4.3 million bounty. I'm trying to get until like 10 million or something. Maybe 15 or 12.5 million, but. Alright, uh, well. Another thing, um. Money! The amount of money that you can get in first C, second C, and third C. So in first C, uh, it gives you like very low monies from treasure chests. Uh, in second C, it gives you like average of two thousand to three thousand money from the gold chests. In uh, third C, it gives like six thousand or something money. Yeah. Um. Wait, what? My head is glitched. Uh, it gives you like 6,000 or 7,000 money. Average. Pretty crazy. I'm talking about gold chests. Even with those silver chests, it still gives you like 2,000. So crazy. And, uh, boss monies. So in first C, the higher level you get, the more bosses gives you I mean, money yeah more bosses gives you money in second C uh, as your levels get higher you're able to of course unlock boss quests um the more higher level bosses you fight uh, the lower money and more mastery they give you doing a quest it's pretty sad because you're not able to find money in second C that much I mean, there is an option called CDs, but still, that takes time. Okay, well, um, at least they give you more mastery, so that is good. And there's a lot of stuff that you need to do in second C anyway. Um, you're you're uh, you're able to obtain a lot of stuff from the bosses anyway. So of course, I mean that's what they should have made it perfect. And 30. Uh, the higher level bosses you fight, the more money and more mastery they give you. Yeah, 30 is the best place to farm monies from bosses. Because, like, K Queen, without 2 times money, 70k. With 2 times money, 140k. Crazy. Yeah. So, that's the thing with money. Uh, another thing is like C events. In first C, there will be no C events. But in second C, there's the one or two CVs like are gonna spawn. If you're on a boat, just not even moving or just moving around. Or a ship raid might spawn. So one... CBS gives you 150k or something if you're like still in second C and not able to go to third C. The amount of money that you can get depends on levels. Do you guys know that? Because I'm able to get 200k and for some reason my friend got like 150k. So I think there is a difference by levels. Because I'm max level, my friend was like 500 levels lower than me. And I think, yeah, that makes the money difference. Money difference. And um, oh yeah, ship rates also change. 
So in second C, there's like two small shipwrays spawn sometimes. Like very two small ships that normally happens when you fight three. Um, those two small ships gives you 50 fragments each, uh, 100 fragments in total. Sometimes a three ship ship event spawns. Um, one big ship, two small ships. Uh, each small ship gives you 25k. Not 25k, no, 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 um, 25 fragments, I meant. And, uh, one big ship gives you 75 fragments. So, yeah, that is a big difference. 25 fragments, not even that big, but... And in third C, that's the best place for C events and most dangerous place for C events. So in uh, third C, there's piranhas and sharks. They can be materials for upgrading some stuff or crafting some stuff, crafting some materials. And um, in third C, there is like a haunted ship spawning. I mean, there, a haunted ship spawns at the same rate of ship events. Um, haunted ship has more health with the um, ship, but it gives you something called fool's gold. It gives you three fool's gold each. They can be used for materials like scrolls. Wait, I can't buy it in the second C, I forgot. So, um, yeah, you're able to craft scrolls using Fool's Gold, also other stuff that is rela related to sea events. And they have a chance to give out, um, drop fruits. Also, in, I mean, with the normal ship event, it has a chance to give you a fruit. My best fruit that I got from the ship event was... I mean that yeah ship event was Buddha fruit. It was pretty cool. And um other stuff. Oh yeah, sea beast. Uh one and two sea beasts doesn't change, but sometimes there'll be three sea beasts. And there's also something called rumbling waters, and it definitely spawned three sea beasts. I think yesterday when I was playing with my friend. We, we got five CBs, like five CBs at once. Like, one Rumbling Waters with three CBs and one normal CB event with two CBs. Yeah, it was too much. One just went gone. But still, 1.5 million bounty or that, I mean, m money or that much. Of course, because of two times money, but pretty much. It was crazy. So the thing might thing like that might happen. Dude, that was crazy for me because I've done like one year of CB C event and then it never happened. Like five CVs was so rare. Though I think the rarest event is two rumbling waters at one spot. Oh by the way, I think I said like three like a three CVs event and a rumbling waters event. They're both different, so be careful with that. I mean, it still spawns three CBs, so that's not a change. It's just that there's a difference between three three CBs and three. I mean, one rumbling waters. I think it's like a health or strength difference with them. I don't even know what's the difference with just a normal three CBs event and the rumbling waters event. Yeah, and. There's a thing called like terror shark might like, spawn. If it spawns, you're super unlucky. You might. I mean, your boat might get destroyed. You might die. The way to defeat it, uh, keep attacking it from like in the air, like high above, using magma free or you know long range attack move. Maybe pain does work. Pretty weird though, but there is a way to get rid of it instead of defe defeating it. Um, well, I'm gonna tell you guys soon after I explain this one more thing called Leviathans. 
So there's like a thing called Leviathan in Third Sea. Um, Leviathan's requirements for it is five players with 7,500 fragments spend on a spy. And then it will say Leviathan is out there now. And then you go to danger level six. There's like a danger levels in uh, Third Sea. Don't worry about that. Okay, well. Uh, you go to danger level 6, that's the max, like, highest, most dangerous place. Your screen will, you know, uh, move a lot. Move, like, left to right, up to down, hard, I think. And, you go to danger level 6 with 5 people without 1 person dying. If 1 person dies out of 5 people, then it won't work. Leviathan will be able to come out for 45 minutes. And then before that 45 minutes, uh, go to danger level 6. And then, no one can die, not even a single boat can die. You only need one boat and five people, so. And then you go to danger level 6, and then if you find something called fro frozen dimension, uh, stand in front of that gate with five people, and then one person talk to the NPC that is in front of the gate. And then you're able to fight the Leviathan. And to fight the Leviathan, you need to defeat its tails, like two or three tails. Two or three or four tails first. And then you're able to fight the full body. And then you're able to de defeat it. If you get 50 dragon, if you, if you get 30 Leviathan scales, and if you buy a beast hunter, a uh, uh, ship, if you buy that ship, then you're able to get something called Leviathan Heart, which is, um, which you're able to get something called Sanguinart. It's one of the fighting styles. It's pretty cool. It has the longest range. And block shoots. Okay, sorry, that was the longest explanation. Leviathan takes a lot of steps and you guys should probably know about it because I think you guys would want to hunt it because it gives you a lot of materials. Very good stuff. And guess what? I've never defeated one. Like I've never found a Mirage Island. Oh my god, I forgot to talk about the Mirage Island. I'm so sorry guys. Um Okay, well there's the Leviathan. Um There's something called Mirage Island. It only spawns in sea level three to five. Um So in Mirage Island you're able to find something called a uh, advanced block shoot dealer. I mean, that's not important. What's more important is that uh, Mirage Island is one of the steps for B4, which I'm gonna talk about it next video or maybe next uh, sometime. Okay, well, um, yeah, Mirage Island is important for it now. Um, Advanced Block Street Dealer like, has more better breeds in the stock. It's like more special than the normal block fruit dealer. You're able, to, I mean, you're, yeah, you're able to find more better fruits from it. So that's the only thing in Mirage Island. Uh, other stuff is like, you're able to find diamond chest, fragment chest. But you need to actually find that advanced block fruit dealer. It just doesn't spawn like poo, right like in front of you. When you find a Mirage Island, your screen will get dark because of a mist thing, so don't worry about that. Uh, be careful inside it. I think that's it with the third C. C. Uh, now I can't think of anything else. Oh, first C, second C, and third C. Wait, what? Wait, what? Uh, first C, you're not able to trade. In second C and third C, you're able to trade. In first C, you're able to spin, but before it didn't have safe stone. Now it has safe, safe stone, so it's good. It's in like one place in the jungle. Uh, there's no like buildings around it. But in second C and third C, there's like a building that people will be in. And it has like a long range safe zone. In second C and third C, so that's good. In first C, only like specific one place, like it's around like 
here, where I'm spinning. You know what? It's like this much. And then, what do I mean by and then? Uh, so that's the only place for a safe zone. Be careful. <laughs> so don't die with the fruit. Okay, and oh yeah, the more higher seas you get, the better fighting styles you're able to buy. So in first sea, you're only able to buy. This Dark Set Teacher, Mad Santis, and Water Kung Fu Teacher, they're all in separate places and they're all separate places in first sea, but they are all together in second sea at Hollow and Cold. You're able to get all of them without any requirements. You just take 150k, 500k, 500k, and 750k. Pretty lot. But they're all good. They give I mean, they are one of the sets or, or one of the good fighting style. And a uh, second C. You're able to get something called Death Step. And by the this dude can give you Dark Step. This dude can give you Electric. This dude can give you Water Kung Fu. Um, and you're able to get something called Death Step and Shark Run Karate and Superhuman in second C. Superhuman. Oh, and Dragon Breath. Uh, Dragon Breath, you only need 1,500 fragments. Uh, well, you know what? I'm gonna talk about fighting style next time. Like, how much they cost, I meant. Um, third C, uh, you're able to get God Human, Electric Claw, we call it E Claw, uh, Dragon, I think I said Dragon Talon. Wait, no, Dragon Talon, E Claw, God Human, uh, Sanguinar, uh yeah i think there was nothing else well they're all still good though yeah i think that's actually it yeah okay well i'm gonna end the video around here if you guys like this video please pl please hit the like button and please subscribe thanks for watching see you guys in the next video bye